This is Face the Music. What does Madeline think? Because nobody will give you a more brutally honest opinion about a song than a 12-year-old girl. I'm Eric Paul Johnson. I'm Madeline. And before we get started, uh, you know what to do. What do we, you, Go, you tell them. Patreon, you have no advertisements. I mean, we get money for doing all of this for you guys. Right. We entertain you. You pay us. We continue to entertain you. You continue to pay us. That's how this deal works out, and nobody gets hurt. Exactly. If you pay on the Patreon, it's ad-free. No one likes advertisements bothering them during their listening to a podcast or watching a video. It's just so annoying, isn't it? We don't care about advertisements. Um, I do, because it does bring some money. But you know what brings us more money? Hmm. Patreon. Patreon! Plus, you get expanded episodes. There's all kinds of extra stuff that you do not get... If you're just pilfering the podcast for free through your podcast pilfering With places. With advertisements. With advertisements, too. Okay, this week's song is When I Was a Boy. When I was a boy, I had a dream. Okay, let's see what you thought about it when you first heard it back in December 2021 when you were 10. <laughs> I like it, hate it. What does Madeline think? I like the song a lot. Wow, she liked it. Okay, it is now 20, it's only three years later. Oh, yeah. well, it's, it's two and a half, two, nine months, something like that. Yeah. You're 12 years old now. What do you think about when I was a boy now? If I remember correctly, I still like, I liked it when I was 10. I mean, I still like it now, especially that we watched the video and I could see everything happening. Like, everything can have stuff to improve in. I just wasn't really paying attention of what could be improved. That's my fault on that. But I liked it. <laughs> can you sound more enthusiastic about that? Look, I'm tired. I know, I know. And you know why? I know why. As for me, when I first heard this in 2015, I was... Eh. You don't know this because you haven't been paying attention to ELO for the 20 previous years. Yeah, because I'm not... 25 even, previous years? I'm not even close to that age, so... No, uh. no, you're not. As long-time listeners to this podcast will know, I have a bit of a hang-up about Jeff Lynne from 2000 to present. True. Where he seems to be stuck in 1990, yeah. as far as his sound goes. So, by 2015, actually by 2000, I was... Eh, this sound again. 1990, Armchair Theater, Traveling Wilburys, Volume 3, B-Side kind of stuff. Yeah. But I listened to it a few more times, because it's friggin' Jeff Lynne and it's friggin' ELO. And I kind of, I liked it a little bit more. And then, then it just got to a point where, alright, you know, I like it. It's a good song, it's catchy, I like it. So I got to like it more the more I heard it. And just now, when we heard it, <laughs> it was just... My eyeballs were rolling in the back of my head because, oh my god, this is so fantastic. Hitting that chorus, and then especially when that guitar solo kicks in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you really dig the guitar solo? Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. So, uh, okay, I'm just going to say this for, like, any person that's going to play guitar. I know this is off topic. Let's say you are a concert and you're about to play. Make sure you tune your guitar first. <laughs> just a heads up. I'm not saying that they didn't tune their guitar because they tuned it. Just make sure you tune your guitars, y'all. Um, yeah, I'm sure that's something that Jeff learned early on in his uh, yeah. musical career, which started when he was a teens. So, yeah, now I, I still don't go freaking love it. Do you have an idea what the song is about? For what I saw of, like, the video, we were watching the video version of it. It's, like, basically, like, when he was a boy and, like, kind of showing, like, the picture of, like, kind of, like, the things that he learned and what it was like growing up. It was, like, kind of in that era. Yeah. Jeff Lynn wrote a song about himself, about when he was a boy, and he had a dream about being a musician. And he went on to be a pretty big frickin' deal musician, hmm. even producing the Beatles. So that's, oh, that's, that's pretty nice. That is a pretty big frickin' deal. But the Beatles like that. Well, they must have, because they picked him to produce a couple songs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one other thing. I showed you the video back in 2021, when we first did the episode. And you said that you liked the song, and you also thought that the kid playing young Jeff Lynne in the video was cute. Just so you know, Jeff Lynne 
the boy that you used for you whenever you were younger? He's a cute boy. I don't love him. He's just like the cute way of how he looked is what I'm saying. And if that was actually you when you were a boy, <laughs> well, that's how I like it. You still think he's cute? No. You don't think young Jeffline is cute? No. Yeah. No? Okay. Like it? Hate it? What does Madeline think now? I like it. Wow. She still likes it. Face the Music, What Does Madeline Think? is a production of Radio Trolla Entertainment, Assorted Deli Meets Amalgamated. You can contact us by voicemail at 623-850-3375 or email us at eloftmpodcast at gmail.com. Keep up to date by joining our Facebook and MeWe groups and spread the word by sharing the link or giving us a quick rating on iTunes. Subscribe to our YouTube page, the Electric Light Orchestra Podcast channel, to hear other goodies. You can financially support the podcast at patreon.com slash elopod or PayPal using the podcast email address, or send a check or money order to P.O. Box 1932, Superior, Arizona, 85173. Next week, Drum Dreams. This week's song is When I Was a Boy. When I was a boy, and my voice is still cracking even though I'm a man. Teens, now we have to wait for my neighbor. Because they like to blast their music. Once, didn't you uh, put a noise complaint for them? Well, because uh, they kept blasting it so much that no, you but I did. sleep? No, but I did go outside and holler at the top of my lungs to turn the damn thing off. Did they? Or down. Yeah, they did. All right. Actually, that wasn't so bad. Um, yeah. Let's leave that in so they can hear us hit some <laughs> of our situations in life. Yeah.